So tell me about the response you got. Oh, Lord, yeah, I have a heart palpitation going on. Okay, so it was so overwhelming. It was so overwhelming. I had hundreds wow. of people reaching out to me, Jennifer. It just speaks to who you are, how amazing you are. People were like, these five tips are right on time. The green suit, the fresh press, sisters, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everything. I'm like, everyone was just overwhelmed, and I'm just so grateful, and I have to thank the most special person to me, my mom, okay, who is here. Your today. mom's here. She is. Mom, where are you? Hey, girl! Hey, mama! Now, like we said, a lot of viewers reached out, so we have one here on Zoom right now that wants some advice. I can't wait. Hey. Rhonda, you there? Hey, Jennifer, Hi. I'm here. Come on, I'm from Chicago. Chicago? Oh, oh my God. I love it. What's, what's your question? Um, what resonated with me was the boundaries, and also, Rhea said, you know if something is serving you or depleting you. Um, and that day, actually, I broke up with my boyfriend of four years and it just gave me confirmation, like I'm doing the right thing. This is depleting me. It's not serving me any longer. So with that being said, I want to know how long should I wait to date? Woo! Girl, you better be on it. Girl, you better be on it. And hello with the color. We are all on the same frequency. <laughs> so first of all, Rhonda, thank you for your question. I'm so grateful. Rhonda actually sent me a message on Instagram, so that just touched me. Breakups are hard, okay? I'm telling you what I know. And how we get through them really determines the direction we move in going forward, okay? So I want, first want to commend you for wanting more for yourself, because that's tough in itself, is to break away from something that doesn't serve you. So this is what comes to mind. I don't stick to like a cookie cutter approach with regard to time. And it's because relationships are different. And as are our healing journeys, they just look different. So whether it's 30 days, whether it's 60 days, whether it's 90, my mom always taught me, don't write no checks, your butt can't cash. Mm. Okay? She says it a little different, but it's daytime TV. <laughs> so, but the truth is, don't set a goal for me. Do it for you. So if you want to start with a month, three months, do that and honor it. But here's the, here's the thing. It's not about how much time, it's what you do with that time. Okay? Oh, yes. So spending the time to think about what served you, what didn't, what was your role. We often want to blame the person and put all the heat on them. You had a role in that as well. So thinking about that, that's what filling your cup really looks like, you know? And especially if you are a giver and, you know, you're always serving other people, you have to be able to think, like, if I don't want to spend time with me, why would anybody else, you know? So I like to think about it as a game of um, double dutch. I'm telling my age, because I don't know if kids even know what double dutch <laughs> is. But double dutch, you know, you're just moving just to move. You don't want to do that when you're not going anywhere. It's more of like hopscotch. So it's like one step at a time, but you're moving forward one step at a time, OK? We have someone with another question for you. Hi. Andrea, are you here? Hi, Rhea. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Hi. 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 I just started dating again. And I'm realizing that I'm getting a lot of unsolicited advice and opinions from girlfriends. How do you suggest I set a boundary with friends that keep butting into your relationship and dating life? Mm. Oh, Andrea, isn't this something? We call them the peanut gallery. Um, you know, the first thing I will say um, is kudos to you on getting out there. You're so beautiful. Thank you. The thing, healthy boundaries is not an easy thing. So I have a question for you. Are you ready to feel a little uncomfortable? Mm. <laughs> I have to grow, so yes. That's right, because growth does not always feel good. So the thing about healthy boundaries, it is uncomfortable on both sides, okay? So the person that's setting them, especially because there's been a pattern. These are your friends, these are your girls. It's been an open door. So whenever you have to implement something different, you might feel a little like, oh. So it's uncomfortable for you, uncomfortable for them. But here's the thing. People do not rest in discomfort well, so they always feel like they have to jump in, or you might be like, you know what, it's okay, let me just let them. And then later on, you know that you've dishonored yourself, or you know that that pattern keeps going. So you have to be willing to be a disruptor, okay? Any pattern, if that is, it applies to any area of your life. If you have a pattern that consistently goes and you want to see something different, you got to disrupt that pattern. So I would say to them, or I wouldn't say anything, actually, it's really on you is opening that door and making sure that you honor when you want to keep your things private and sacred. Because you'll, you'll see a difference. You'll see a difference. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hmm. OK, what advice would you give someone who recognized they need to fix something but doesn't know the proper steps to take? My goodness. Well, one, that's a very popular thing, including for me. I am human. <laughs> um, the thing is, it starts with your mindset. So no matter which step, I got so much feedback on all the different steps, you know? Mm -hmm. But no matter which step, it's all about your mindset. It's all about realizing that 
you know, the life, our life that we live is a summary of our choices. So whatever choices we've made, it's led us to where we are. And guess what? We can make new ones. <laughs> so as long as you believe that you can, if you have an open mind and don't allow life to weigh on you so heavily that you're just defeated. And if you get defeated, just know, I can make a new choice today. Mm -hmm. So it's always about just keeping yourself in that space. And it really does get lighter. Just remembering that, having the mindset, the willpower, the motivation. If you need me, I'm here, because sometimes you need someone to help pull you up out of that quicksand. But that's really what I tell clients. Nice. OK, yes. I cannot have you here without getting all the information I can out of I'm you. Here for so it. can you leave us with one more nugget of like wisdom that you can share. Absolutely, based on what I heard today, I just wanna remind you guys, like we are all human. So all of the transitions that happen, life is not promised, okay? So make the change today, okay? Don't be afraid. There's always an opportunity for a fresh start. Make a new choice, whether it's relationship, whether it's friendships, you owe it to yourself, you deserve it. So that's it. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.